Movies and shows based on games have been around for ages. Up until recently though, all of them have had one thing in common. They're typically never more than okay at best. And this is changing. Just in the past couple years, we've gotten absolute bangers in that of Riot's Arcane and now Cyberpunk Edgerunners. I'm Bucky Mayer and I want to quickly go through why they work and are in service of the game's world, fandom, acquisition, and engagement of players. When I watched Edgerunners a week ago, I was not a cyberpunk player. I was one of the many who avoided and forgot about it after it launched. As a fan of anime, seeing a small bingeable series that everyone was talking about, I decided to give it a shot. One episode turned into two, which turned into finishing the series in a couple days. As I watched, my intrigue in the world of Cyberpunk and Night City quickly built. I found that along with the release of Cyberpunk Edgerunners, the game itself had released a massive patch too, and my curiosity peaked. Well, fast forward to now, I've purchased Cyberpunk along with many others, and have dove in spending hours learning the ropes of Night City. So why did Cyberpunk Edgerunners work so well for Cyberpunk? Well, firstly, they played to their strengths. Anime is an incredible medium choice to play to CDPR's strengths. CDPR is known for its storytelling and world building, its ability to make side quests feel almost more integral and engaging than the main stories themselves. The show brought together experienced writers, lore makers, and a studio that could match the aesthetic they were going for in Studio Trigger. And that's what this show feels like, a deep side quest in the world of the game. Two, they focused on characters. The reason so many of us have fallen in love with David, Lucy, Rebecca, and so many others is because the animes care for their characters. They all have astounding depth, interesting motivations and flaws, and are similar to what we've become accustomed to in CDPR's game characters themselves. Three, the picture painted is representative of what you find in game. Now, while you may not feel quite as badass as David or Lucy in Cyberpunk, the show does a great job of painting the picture of the world that you feel once you're immersed into Cyberpunk. It truly feels like the writers ensured they were completely entrenched in the source material, likely due to CDPR's hands-on approach in the show's development. And for the most part, you don't get into game feeling like you've been misinformed. There are ripper docs. Cyberware and replacing organics is important to increasing your strength. You do encounter those with cyberpsychosis. Arasaka is a slimy, horrible corporation and you can't trust anybody in Night City. And most importantly, that piece of absolute robo trash Adam Smasher is there for you to get sweet, glorious revenge on. They even made sure specific cyberware and the places shown both were already in the game and core to the show and its main characters. And finally, this is a game analysis channel, so something that stood out to me especially is that CDPR waited, something that would have been really hard to do. With the game coming out to such a brutal reception, in part due to its hype and unreadiness, CDPR waited until both the dust had settled and the game was in a much better spot to release this anime. The show was announced six months before the launch of the game, and in the time between launch of the game and the release of the cyberpunk anime, there's been eight major patches since it came out just under two years ago. And it's now quite an awesome experience when compared to launch. By great use of timing, they ensure that the experience new and curious players like me have when trying the game after seeing the anime is an enjoyable one that keeps us around. Ideally, that'll also help compound the ROI from the anime by now new fans of the game increasing rating averages and spreading the gospel to get more people curious and invested. Games have had a hard time in the past finding success in the film and TV medium, but with Arcane and now Edge Runners, it seems like we're finally figuring out how to make some incredible content that's in service of the games themselves and their players, both current and potential, as they work to further expand on the world and lore of their games' universes. I'm Bucky Mayer, and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, and if you're into more game analyses or development videos, I'd love if you liked and subscribed. See you next time!